What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Power Stroke Central episode where we're actually going to be changing the transmission fluid on a 7.3 liter diesel here. We're gonna hop right into this video. Stick around, stay tuned. I'm gonna give you guys how to do all of it, how to make your transmission last for a very long time. Tips and tricks that I'm gonna be doing in this video. So make sure you guys stick all the way through this video. Hope you guys do enjoy. Okay everybody, so we're actually only going to be doing a little bit of a drain and fill on this tr automatic transmission. We're not going to drop the pan and change completely everything. We're just going to be refilling it with some new transmission oil. We're gonna be going over the, all the oils here, doing everything, so without further ado, let's dive right into this video. Just kind of zoom in. I have two quarts of that. <clears throat> One by Valvoline. This is synthetic fluid. The Quaker State here is just a regular mineral based oil, but it's a really good oil and it meets the Dexron 3 Ford Mercon ATF specifications. We also have the Walmart automatic transmission fluid, which also meets the same specifications, but it's a high mileage fluid to help with seals and stuff like that. So we are actually going to mix all of this together in the same sump and it won't hurt a thing. Uh, right now I'm just going to be showing you guys all the wrenches and everything that we're going to be really using here. Other than our oil, to start off we're going to be using a massive roll of paper towels. We're going to be using some brake parts cleaner to clean everything up, make sure everything's nice and clean so we don't get the oil dirty in the transmission. Then we're going to be using a, we're going to be using a 13 millimeter wrench right here, drain pan which is going to be under the truck right now. And then we're just gonna be showing you guys where the transmission fluid, how to change it all, what to use, how to do the rest, and just how, how everything goes down, where to dispose of it and everything like that. So stick around. We know this method works for sure. Um, this is totally legit. One, because our 7.3 liter diesel actually has almost 500,000 miles on it. And we are not joking when we say this, I'm gonna show you guys the speedometer here. So it actually has 426,000 miles. If you guys can't see right there, we're gonna zoom in all the way for you guys. It's got 426,000 miles. It's pretty crazy. That is a telltale sign that what the, we are doing with our transmission fluid is written. correct. Let's hop right in, I'll show you guys how it's all done. The fun fact about this truck is that there is no oil leaks anywhere with almost 450,000 miles on there. There is no oil leaks anywhere. We have kept perfect maintenance of this truck. This is how you do it. This is how you're gonna keep your truck lasting for literally ever. We're gonna unscrew that. Maybe drop the wrench every once in a while. Oh yeah. Let's see. Wind. Drain a little bit. It's a little bit of wind. Clean down transmission here. fluid. Clean truck. There it goes. Just gonna let that sucker finish off. And we got the next. So we're putting the, the drain plug back in, the transmission plug back in, and we are going to tighten it back up, get everything going. We will take you guys up top and fill you guys up. All right, so we're actually gonna be hopping in the hood here and throwing in the transmission fluid. So let's hop in, what do you wanna do? Okay, everybody, so we're actually going to be putting the transmission fluid in this little yellow, uh, yellow area in the back, towards the back of the engine. This is where you actually fill it and you check it. So that's gonna be, it has a dipstick as well, so we're gonna pull this out and show you guys what it looks like. Right there, there it is. I have guys, you wanna make sure that you guys have a clean funnel and that your funnel is made to do a uh, transmission oil change. Um, so what we did is we actually cleaned it out with the brake parts cleaner right here. We cleaned it out with, uh, sprayed some brake parts like that with some paper towels. And then we'll stick the funnel in there and we'll pull the stick out here. Now we're just gonna put the oil in right in there. We're gonna be putting in our oils here. Right, that's gonna show me which one to put in first. Okay, so we're quartz gonna be putting low. in two quarts of Max Life Valvoline. Valvoline oil, two quarts of uh, Valvoline. Transmission fluid. Okay, 
And then we're going to be putting in the high mileage automatic transmission fluid right here. We're going to be putting in the automatic transmission Quaker State. Um, let's put that sucker in. in the frame. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, it's good. Then put your lids back on. Okay. Okay, so we're going to put two more quarts of Quaker Quaker State Automatic Transmission Fluid. It's called Dexron 3 slash Ford Mercon Automatic Transmission Fluid. All right, let's put that in. We're gonna put one quart of that, or we're gonna put two quarts of that, but. It's all the same transmission fluid, just different brands. Okay. And the second quart. Last quart. Or the last quart. Lids back on your container so they'll make a big giant mess. So uh, we could be part of the family channel. Okay, so you want to make sure the oil goes all the way through before you pull it out, or else you're going to get transmission fluid everywhere. Oh, okay, so we're going to take our towel. We're going to put it right up under there so we don't get it everywhere. We're going to plug the end so that way the oil gets out, and that'll do it. everybody so we've got the transmission fluid in the truck we're going to be taking it around the block here we're actually going to be driving that around the block for a little bit and we are going to be one fun fact is you need to actually change or look at your transmission fluid and its levels after it's hot or after you're done with a pretty long drive or just uh, the drive around the block you need to get your transmission hot you need to get it going and you need to make sure, because that way it goes and it gets into the transmission, so that way you can get an accurate measurement with your dipstick. Another little fact for you guys, or another helpful tip that you can do on how or where to recycle your oil. You want to actually take your oil here, and you want to take it to like your nearest AutoZone or Walmart, and it's got to be, it has to be um, in the containers at AutoZone, and they will, let me fix that lighting, okay, and they will actually change it out for you guys if you go to your nearest AutoZone or Walmart, they will t take it for you guys and recycle it. So it is good to take your oil out, and you do not want to dump your oil ever, guys. That is a very bad health hazard, so just take it out and dispose of it. So yeah, fun fact of the day, little tip for you guys. Uh, make sure you dispose of your oil properly, and that is gonna how you're going to do it. And we're going to check the transmission fluid one more time, and that will probably wrap up this video. We're going to be checking the oil and the dipstick while it's running here. Tell it's good. Cold, it needs to be in here. Warm, it needs to be in this range here. It's got cold and hot. The fluid expands when it gets warm. So, all right, this should be good. All right, everybody. So that will conclude this Power Stroke Central video. Thank you guys for stopping by. Hope you guys did enjoy this whole entire episode. Finished up with the day, good transmission change, everything went well, went smooth. As you guys saw, my the truck did have 450 or 425,000 miles on it. So it's pretty insane for you guys. This is a 100% legit video. This is what you're gonna wanna do. 
with your transmission oil changes because we've been doing this for 425,000 miles to make this truck work super good, super clean, and it still runs beautiful today, as you guys saw in the video. So I'm actually in my house right, right now filming this little intro so we can get some quietness. Uh, thank you guys for coming by. Smash the subscribe button down below. Hope you guys did learn something in this uh, Power Strokes intro video. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you.